everyone, welcome to Buckle Up Podcast. I'm Natalia Earl and I'm a certified business and life coach that loves talking to people. I'm fascinated by humans and how our brain works. What is it that makes a decision good or bad and how does that decision ultimately shape our path and destiny? Everyone loves to talk about success, but what about the flip side? How about adversity? Failure is such a big and often necessary part of life and it's simply unavoidable. So I invite you to join me on this inspiring, honest, unpolished interview show with breathtakingly real conversations that go deep on setbacks and hardships that are part of the puzzle that ultimately lead to growth, discovery of inner greatness, and what makes us resilient. Grab your helmet and buckle up, people. It's going to be a bumpy ride, but what a ride it will be. In this educational episode, I sat down with Aaron Swanson, who has worked in the mortgage business for over 21 years. After living in Minnesota most of his life, Aaron made a life-changing decision by moving to South Florida about eight years ago. He currently runs his own mortgage office and is licensed in multiple states. His biggest passion is to help and serve others. Aaron went from barely graduating high school to now being an entrepreneur by sitting down and learning the trade of highly successful people. The one thing that he learned quickly was that in life, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just replicate what successful people do. He taught himself how to let your money do the work for you by trading and investing in the market. As a man of many passions, he sponsors multiple children and families living in poverty. It was is because of my attitude. I thought right. that I was like, nobody wants to buy a membership here. Why would you want to buy a membership here? Mm-hmm. Lifetimes across the street. You know, that was kind of like my attitude. So this guy says to me, he goes, you know what? I come in Monday. He goes, what do you decide? I said, I'll do everything you tell me. He goes, you do everything you, I tell you to do. You'll be number one in this company this month. And I've never even been in the top 50 in the company. He goes, you do exactly what I tell you to do. You'll be number one. He goes, but I don't want to hear you complain. I don't want to hear you tell me that any negative stuff you, when I say jump, you say how high. And again, looking back at it, you know, my life wasn't in, and it's not like I lived this amazing life. I mean, unless you enjoy, the only thing that was happening is I was running out of staples out of my staple gun, you know, (laughs) for my shoes. So the thing is, is that I got tired of living like this. And literally, I sat down, listened to him, did everything I did, had a positive attitude. And I'm telling the reason I'm telling you this story is, is that in one weekend, I literally changed my mindset on how I want to live, how I want to be, do I want to be a positive person? Do I want to be happy? Right. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you that I ended up being number one in the company that month from number 86 to number one in the company that month. And he's, and he's like, What did I tell you, man? And in that instant, I mean, it literally gives me goosebumps because I still remember like it was yesterday of how life-changing that was. Mm -hmm. Because then he says to me, he goes, you can't be a one-hit wonder. You need to do this every single month. So the next month, I was number one in the company again, right? All of a sudden, all the salespeople are like, he's got to be committing fraud. (laughs) You know, like, (laughs) who is Aaron? Like, I've never heard of Aaron. You know, this, this guy was 87 last month. And I ended up consistently becoming number one in the company. And then I got promoted to the same position as my buddy, all the way up to a branch manager by the age of 19, you know, 19 years old, I was a branch manager with 60 employees working for me from this attitude to this attitude in one given moment over a weekend, one weekend. And I was never the same. So So if I'm a home buyer, what should I look for in the mortgage person? (laughs) So when you're, If you're buying a house, whether it's for the first time or you have bought a house before, the most important thing of going through the process, honestly, is the team you work with. Okay, Mm -hmm. I cannot express this enough. The people that take out the time to make sure you understand the the process, you know, you need a good agent and you need a good financing guy. Because if you do have one that's great and one that stinks, your transaction is going to be horrible, right? Vice versa. If you have a great financing guy and a horrible agent, you're never going to find a house, right? Right. So the key to buying a house is finding that team that will take you through 
and explain how this whole process works. That is the number one key with purchasing. And once you do that, you want to get pre-approved. And the biggest mistake, honestly, Natalia, that people make is they, to answer your question in regards to buying now versus waiting, the problem with waiting is we have 1,200 people a day moving to Florida, 1,200 a day right now, right? So you're talking about a population that you live in the land of the free in Florida, right? You can do whatever you want. They don't hold you your hand and say, you can't do this, you can't do that. We're going to lock down none of that, right? Number right. two, we don't pay state tax. Number three, you have 12 months of sunshine and you live three miles from an ocean, right? I mean, right. what else could you possibly want? The, the homes are appreciating so high that everyone's like, I hear this from people all the time. Well, I'm just going to wait for the crash. You're going to be waiting a long time for the crash. I hate to tell you, you're going to be waiting a long time. That house that you like for 300000 is three twenty five dollars next year. That mm -hmm. house that's three twenty five dollars is going to be three fifty dollars next year. They are doing nothing but appreciating. And two things are going to happen. Either people are going to adapt to the market and buy to the market, or B, they're going to be pushed out of the market. And you're going to continue to have to rent. And you're going to continue to wish that you could buy, right? So take advantage of a home that you really love and it's one of the smartest decisions you'll ever make in your life by buying a house. Because think about it, what return of investment can you make where you're putting your money in and the value is going up and your balance is going down? That equity, that's money you're making in equity, right? Mm -hmm. You got to sleep somewhere and have a roof over your head. So why would you pay somebody else's mortgage and rent than pay your own where you're continuing to make your mortgage payments and like, let's